Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. During this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create your own modified UEC image that you can run on top of UEC or the Amazon EC2 Cloud. So generally, it is recommended that you use a pristine image and then use a technology like Cloud in it um, to apply your modifications uh, as the image boots. However, sometimes this approach is less favorable, say, because the changes you're applying take too much time. Um, so you perhaps would like to take a pristine image, apply everything you want changed on that image, and then rebundle that resulting image into a new AMI that you can use later on um, or give it to someone else to use. So I'm going to show you this approach right now. Um, this, this process is called rebundling um, an image. I'm going to try to download a UEC image. It's a Lucid release, 10.04, 32-bit. Um, so this is the image, the pristine image that I'm going to try and modify. Um, since I'm running a 32-bit um, EC2 instance, I'm, I'm downloading also a 32-bit image so that, so that I can easily shoot inside it. Once the image is downloaded, we're going to um, untar the image, so that's um, Ubuntu, that should untar the image. We're going to create a directory and um, mount that image inside that directory, sure root inside it, do whatever modifications we want, and then bundle the resulting image. So it should take a moment just to extract. Very good. So we um, flash, say, new image. Um, then we mount the image. We loop mount it onto slash new image. Very good. If we ls inside, we can see the uh, these are the files of the image. They are now ready to be modified. So let's try to shroot onto the new image directory and say we're going to add a user named foo, foo bar, whatever. You can you can you can of course you know shroot and install packages, modify files, copy your files inside, do whatever you want. Uh, in this case, I'm just creating a simple user. Um, so let's go through the prompts quickly. Yes, voila, the user has been created. Let's um, let's check it out by checking new image slash home. We're going to find, yes, the home foobar directory exists. Um, therefore, the, um, the user has really been created. So, very good. Um, at this stage, you would apply whatever other changes you want. And then, assuming you have completed your needed changes, you're going to unmount the um, slash new image directory. Great. So, right now, it's ready to be um, bundled and uploaded. So, let's do just that and publish the image. So I'm going to use the, a tool called UVC Publish Image. Um, I'm giving it some parameters like the name of the new image, um, the fact that it's 32-bit, um, the image file, which is a wildcard here, and then the uh, name of the S3 bucket that you want to push your image to. So once I hit Enter, the tool is going to start creating the new rebundled image that contains my modifications and upload it to the uh, Kimo bucket. Uh, on S3 and then register that image onto um, Amazon EC2 images. So this process can take uh, a few minutes, so I'm going to pause recording here. All right, the image is, has been completely uh, uploaded and registered, and this is the AMI ID of our modified rebundled image. Um, you can start launching your own instances based off that AMI ID. If you're planning on bundling your own images, I would recommend using as your workstation the latest Ubuntu release. In my case, this is Natty. 
um, as it contains generally the latest fixes. I would also recommend um, installing the EC2-API tools and dash AMI tools from the Ubuntu repos. And be sure you have the following variables set in your uh, EC2 RC. Um, so I hope that was helpful and till next time.